This video will focus on elapsed time. I would like to remind you that in third grade, you solve elapsed time problems within 60 minutes. It could have been maybe 10 uh, 15 and um, something ended at 11 15, how much time had passed. So you could cross over an hour, but you still stayed within 60 minutes. So um, in fourth grade now, you solve elapsed time problems, but you go over an hour. And that's what we're gonna focus on here in this video. We're gonna focus on solving elapsed time using not only a number line, but the T-chart. All right, so while we do this, we're going to use the three reads strategy to help us. You may have seen this in other videos or you may have seen it with your teacher, but this really helps us be able to comprehend a word problem. I do want to um, kind of challenge you to read the word problems yourselves and try to do it on your own. Some things you can do is to read it one sentence at a time or draw pictures, but if you're still struggling, then definitely get somebody to help you. So let's just quickly go over the three read strategy. Uh, basically, we're gonna read it three times. The first time we read it and we focus on what's going on in the story. Basically, you summarize it. You do this all the time in reading, okay? Just tell me what's going on. We don't really, we're not worried about the numbers, just who's in it and what are they doing. The next time we reread it and we focus on the numbers and the relationship between the numbers. This is a great place too to even draw pictures or jot down notes. And then finally, we look at the question and we try to answer, and what we do is not try to, but we definitely answer that question. So when we read it the first time, we are going to just kind of ignore the question, okay? So it says, Carlos left his home at 11.25 a.m. He, re he returned home at 2.15 p.m. So I read it the first time and I only want to talk about what's going on, no numbers. So I know Carlos was at home and Carlos left home um, and then he came back. So now let's read it again, focusing on the numbers and the relationship. Carlos left his home at 11.25 a.m. and he returned at 2.15 p.m., okay? So I know that Carlos, he left home at 11.25 a.m. and then he returned home at 2.15 p.m., okay? And finally, I'm going to look at the question. Carlos left his, left his home at 11.25 a.m. He returned home at 2.15 p.m. How long was Carlos gone from home? Well, to determine how long he was gone from home, I'm going to have to find out, kind of count up from 11.25 to 2.15, how much time had passed, okay? So, um, to be able to do that, I am going to use, first, I'm going to show you using a uh, number line, and then we'll do the T-chart. So what I'm gonna do is he left home at 11.25. So on this number line, I'm gonna represent 11.25 a.m. right here, okay? And there's different ways you can do this. I could jump up to 12 and see how many minutes, or I could go ahead and go to 12.25 and go ahead and do the hour. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and jump one hour, and I'm gonna say it's 12.25. Now, because I crossed over 12 o'clock, I moved from a.m. to p.m., so make sure you do that. Watch out for that when you are solving these types of problems. You do wanna make sure you get your a.m. and p.m. correct. So that's 12.25. Now, if I can jump again to 1.25, another hour, I'm still in p.m. because I did not cross over, um, uh, you know, at 12 o'clock. Now, can I go to 2.25? I cannot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jump to two o'clock. And I know that if I go from 125 to 130, that's five minutes. And then from 130 to two, that's 30 minutes. So that's gonna be 35 minutes. And then I'm gonna go from two to 215. All right, which is 15 minutes. So I can see here that I have two hours. And then I can come down here and add 35 and 15. And I can see that that gives me 50 minutes. So my, the answer to my problem should be two hours and 15 minutes. I was at 11.25, I jumped an hour to 12.25. Made sure I changed from a.m. to p.m. I jumped another hour to 1.25. Realized I could not jump another hour to 2.25 because that would take me past 2.15. So I jumped to two o'clock, that's 35 minutes, from two to 2.15, 15 minutes. I add up my hours and I add up my minutes. So now let's look at solving it using a T table, a T chart. So if I am leaving at 11.25 a.m. and I'm going to return at 2.15 p.m., 
Then what I'm gonna do is from 11, 25, and I'm gonna solve it differently this time. I'm gonna go ahead and just get to 12 o'clock. And I know from earlier that's 35 minutes. Okay, because 11.25 to 11.30 is 5 minutes, 11.30 to 12 is 30 minutes, that's 35 minutes. And then I'm going to go from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock, and that's 2 hours. And then from 2 o'clock to 2.15 is 15 minutes. So now I've got my 2 hours, and earlier I realized 35 plus 15. If I'm at 35, add on my 5, that takes me to 40. Add on my 10, takes me to 50 minutes. All right. So um, in this video, you uh, got to see how to solve elapsed time word problems with um, going over an hour using a number line and a T-chart. Now you're gonna try some on your own.